Hey, 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 guys, it's Jungle Friends, it's your girl V. This is Willis. And we're back for another week. Woo, woo, woo. Episode 43. Episode 43. Damn, we're almost at the end. We're here with the returning guest. Can we even call him a guest anymore? He's like a third member by proxy. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Doula in the building. Let's give him a hand clap. Wait, is this Doula first time on YouTube or no? Second. No, second. second, second. second. I opened up the first Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. You, yeah. right. you gotta remember these things, man. My right. man. Write these things down. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Doula, for coming on this week. We appreciate you for coming back. And um, if you are. What was your fan? <laughs> pan. You got the check over here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you better Bussy enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you're a new listener, uh, thank you for joining in. We have a couple of simple rules. We always start off our podcast with a shot. We always end off with a shot. If we go over an hour, we have to take a shot. And if either of our phones go off of volume, we have to take a shot. Four simple rules. Uh, to our returning guests, you already know the rules, so you should already have your shots poured. Right. With that being said, let's go ahead and take these shots right now. Okay. Let's take these shots. All right. Cheers, guys. Uh, straight face. <clears throat> I'm bothered. That's tough. I thought you was unbothered. Straight face. I'm bothered. Mm. Uh. Then, be, then became bothered. Yeah, right. I activated by the dial toys. It didn't work. Uh, yeah. So before you go ahead and go to the store, I just want to let everybody know. Make sure you guys are tuning in next week. May 15th is our drunk anniversary. Woo! Yes. Two years in. Two right. years in. Can't touch us then. So it'll be the actual next episode, not this episode. Next episode. Next episode, yes. Yeah, Tune in. Episode too early. Yeah. Well, we're have, <laughs> I blew my water. Really. Right. We're gonna have a lot of guests here. Um, it's gonna be a great ordeal, and I hope you guys tune in. We will be going live, so make sure you look out for that live and for that lituation, because you know drunk adversities are yeah, always remembered, up. and we always are fucked up. So yeah. with that being said, go ahead, Willis. What you got for us? Okay. So speaking of drunk adversary, uh, condoms. Wow. It's like, I'm how, did, how did we get here? I, 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 tried, I tried a little. I, a segue? It didn't work. It, the segue was The segue was trash. trash. My bad. Your segue was absolutely trash. My <laughs> bad. Um, well, you know, people get drunk, they have sex. But it was a bad. Never mind. Anyway, Derek's condom sales have um, quadrupled since the relaxation of different uh, rules at different states. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So as the states have opened up to like 25, 50%, people start fucking more. Or maybe people aren't doing. The people they normally do without rubber, so they're going out and using rubbers to do with people oh, they yeah. don't do. Because the world's open again. I get what you're saying. So, like, they're meeting new people. Oh, so okay. They, they're protecting themselves. All right. Yeah. So, they, they got rid of their Corona boo, pretty much. Yeah. Because you've been fucking your Corona boo raw all year. Wow. <laughs> now you got a new drink. You had to get rid of them. Everybody breaking. This is breakup season. Everybody getting rid of everybody. Oh, wow. People are starting to act fool. You can go on dates now. Hotels opening back okay, up. You could always go on dates. I mean, right not now. when it first started, though. Yeah, wow. uh, there was stuff. Not there was a rule that said you couldn't go on dates. No, but yeah. they started. Remember, they started people out. I feel like that just made it more like mm, secretive. No, it was more Look so. Me, you, could, Robin. you couldn't right. eat inside at first when everything went down, like around March, April last year. Right. You couldn't do the traditional dates. Right. And then there was people that had curfews in certain states and certain cities that you couldn't even be out after eight. So it was a whole bunch of like issues in different states and country. I mean, not countries. Oh, yeah, countries too. Except for Florida and Texas. Coronavirus did not. <laughs> well, don't start. Florida, Florida, Florida Texas, what, South Carolina, Several everything. And was, Georgia. <laughs> and Georgia. Don't forget Georgia. Especially, what, Atlanta? Atlanta, okay. It's in Georgia, but yeah, Atlanta was acting, y'all was acting a fool in Atlanta. They ain't in Atlanta no more. They're Atlanta. Okay, okay. <laughs> but, but, um, you can't even see your sneaky links. Back when it first started. Now you can get the hotel rooms, get the motels, whatever. Like, people fucking now. At well, least they're being I'm safe. I'm sorry, but isn't that what we want? We want people to be safe. But who's using Durex for real, though? <laughs> the people. That's the, the people. That's the question. <laughs> like, isn't that like the, uh, the free clink condoms? Yeah. Yeah. But my thing is, it's like, you'd rather have something than nothing. So they had the Durex. Like, do they still make flavor condoms? I have no idea. Yeah, Because I haven't seen those since, like, middle school. I remember I was in middle school. Somebody gave me a banana flavor one. I'm like, <laughs> I can't wait to use this. Like, banana flavor? Like, ew. Gross. Is it, is it a race thing with condoms? Is it kind of like cigarettes? Like, you know, Trojans is the equal to Newports. <laughs> like, all black people smoke Newports. All oh, black yeah. people use tro um, Trojans. I don't know. Some I don't white know. people use Marlboro and they use dirt. I thought black people were like the Magnum. Thing. Marlboro. Oh, I, I don't know. The Marlboro, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, no, I'm just saying I thought black people did the Magnum thing. It's still Trojan. Yeah, they're still Trojan. Oh, yeah, okay. It's yeah, the yeah, brand. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. It's the gold wrapper, it's shiny. <laughs> you don't bother to read it? It's like flex mode. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I got. <laughs> Dodge coins. I know I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> 
done. Yeah. But I mean, like I said, at least they're being safe, and that's really what matters. But thinking about that, just to paint back off of you, the condom sales are going up while chicken is going down. Like, where's the shortage in chicken mm. in the United States? I don't know what it is. People have been like doing these TikTok recipes, or they're doing whatever they're maybe because they're cooking more at home, and they have that's, that's the nostalgia too. of having wing night or whatever. But it's literally been a story that um, there's a shortage on chicken now, and they're not they're not able to keep up the produce. Mm -hmm. Or the you know the production from the the what they want for what we want. Gotcha. So it, it's it's to a point where if you go now and it's you know, you might see a couple packages, but it's it's real uh, starting to get scarce. So guys, choose another meat. As long as you got them thighs <laughs> and the wings, there's not a problem. My go-to bar that I usually go to, they already put a sign in the window saying um, due to the shortage of the chicken, it's an extra dollar for a chicken. For per a wing. chicken. Per wing. Per wing. Yeah. What? It should not be free. <laughs> What do you mean? So you mean on top of paying ten ninety nine for them, I'm gonna have to pay another ten dollars for If you it? get a six piece, you gotta pay extra six dollars. They just okay. raise the price. Nah, wow. we don't think Lido jumbo wings. <laughs> they see the wings though. I don't know where these be getting the wings from. Them chicken big as shit. Yo. God, they, they do be big. Like them drumsticks be humongous. Yo, That's because they're not really wings. Yo, them, gym, them GMOs right there. Them chickens be in the gym, bro. <laughs> No, did y'all ever see that documentary with Subway? No. Mm -mm. Oh, about the, uh, the chicken not being yeah. percent like soybean or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but they were literally like GMO like certain parts of the chicken. Mm -hmm. So they'll create the chicken and say you want a big breast. You'll have this deformed chicken with this big ass breast, and then they kill it and serve you the breast. Wow. Uh, nope. Y'all hear about Went dark real fast. Nope. Yeah, nope. Didn't know that. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to bring that to your attention because like condom sales are going up. But we've been buying all the chicken, Facts. so now it's a, a, mm -hmm. a, you know, the demand for chicken is out there, but the supply is very, very low. <laughs> That's all I was about to say. But go ahead, continue. No, that was the only story. I mean, that was one of my stories. Okay. You got a story? Sure do. So, guys, we were just talking about Atlanta, right? Mm hmm So, I mean, when you were growing up, I know I, I, everybody who's listened to the show know that I'm from Philadelphia, North Philadelphia, to be specific. Born and raised. Right. So, so um, I'm just going to well, talk about age. this. <laughs> we were singing that song last night, I too. Kidding. We really was. <laughs> we're not going to talk about it. Um, but I'm going to just go ahead and give you guys a synopsis of this instead of just reading out the whole article. So, basically, Atlanta police are considering giving citations to parents because their children are outside selling like the waters at the intersection and then I, I know in my hood growing up they would sell waters mm -hmm. or Gatorades walk through with flowers Clean trying to wait for a dollar you know so right. now I guess they're trying to prohibit that because they said they're they're trying to launch a new strategy to stop teens from illegally selling water at intersections part of the new initiative is issuing citations to the parents they say they don't want to arrest the kids for trying to make money, but want to discourage them from being in the busy intersections for their own safety. So, I, I mean, I get what they're saying. It makes sense. Mm -hmm. But it's like, yo, let yeah, the let kids, kids be kids. Let kids be kids. Exactly. Like, I feel like... It's this, destructive. It, it really is. I feel like that they're so trying to be so... Not politically correct, but they're trying to change so much that you change the shit that don't need to be changed. Facts. You know, it's like, bro... We spend four dollars on this case of Deer Park. We're going to sell a I mean, dollar for each bottle of water. We, that's profit. What would you rather? They got sell? twenty dollars profit off of one case of water. Old hot musty Krispy Kreme donuts <laughs> or, the, or the cold water. Man, I agree. I agree with you. And I walk into anybody with their windows down, bro. You know your AC don't work, yo. Come here. <laughs> you know what it is. You know. You, you see the sweat dripping off this this right. condensation. You see that glistening? <laughs> I'm gonna let that whole sweat. <laughs> But I know in my neighborhood, it used to be actual like, you know, soccer teams or yeah. like basketball teams that's out there. It's not just random kids hustling you. Yeah. The, the people have it for a legit cause. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, bro. I will say, if they was at the corner with a Popeye's chicken sandwich for five bucks, I was like, I mean, I don't have to wait in line. It's just running I'm done. I'm done. Right. It's ready to go. That's too much. I remember back in the day, they used to do waters and um, Gatorades and Huggies. The yeah. little 33 Huggies. Huggies. Yeah, yeah, the Huggies. Huggies. Uh, yeah. Huggies yeah. Or the Guzzlers, I don't know if y'all had them out here. They were just yeah. like the bigger Huggies. Mm. I'm like, bro, let, let them do it. He told us that with the little, the, yeah. the king top, you twist it all up. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. Kool-Aid drink? Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Like no I'm King like, Tut joint. Yeah. I'm like, why don't that, that's so you gonna shut down the the neighborly candy lady too? I don't know if y'all had that growing up with the there was like one old lady who was selling like bags of like candies candy. and shit. Yeah. Like you gonna shut her down too? What does she have a legal operation going on just because she went and got them wholesale and sold them in bags to the kids? Like everybody knew that was the candy lady in Fox? the area. So like it's like, bro, yeah, they, I think y'all doing too much. They killing so, it. Atlanta, y'all need to be working on making sure y'all people are COVID feet they free. Killing, they killing in my neighborhood too. Like they just sent out a, a letter to all the homeowners like, uh, we don't like the guys playing basketball in the front of the course because it's like, they, you know, they're doing other things other than playing basketball. They're playing craps and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, it's a lot of trash. And I'm like, bro, they're young black males. Let them play ball. They're right. not doing anything. You know, they're not shooting nobody. They just playing basketball. Let them you should have replied back, do. Karen. <laughs> I <laughs> leave them kids like, alone. I mean, but then I live three streets back, so I'm not affected by it. So I don't know what it's like being right next to them. But I'm like, just let them play basketball. There's no night lights. It's like when it gets dark, they're gone. They go home, right? Mm-hmm. But let them ball. Like yeah. all the other courts, they, they snatch all the hoops off. Perry would got hoops up. But like our neighborhood always had hoops the entire time. I'm like, just let them play basketball, and they mm-hmm. hurt nobody's feelings. Right? See now, my third eye <laughs> no, telling me what the Atlanta police is doing, trying to stop the black entrepreneur, the growth. <laughs> you you got to start from somewhere. Everybody used to sell candy, sell mm-hmm. sell water, sell whatever. They trying to stop us, man. Mm-hmm. They trying now they mess with the kids. I saw this one story in Jersey. Uh, the cops were harassing kids because they didn't have permits for bikes. They couldn't even ride their bikes down the street. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, like a permit, like the fuck. Right yeah. for a bike, the fuck, the bicycle that I just bought from Walmart. Seriously, I need, I need a, a permit. permit. <laughs> <laughs> I need my hubby Baron. No, then you talking to fucking kids about permits? I'm like, yo, I just got this for my birthday. <laughs> you talking about some damn permit? It is like, the permit. Thing. I don't even do homework. What are you, what are you <laughs> saying, man? Bikes. And who do I go? I don't go to motor vehicles because this is not a motor vehicle. Right. Like, imagine we go to NBA. Yeah, I need a permit for my my bike my two-wheeler no not my motorcycle my two it doesn't make any sense make like, it make my, sense please no there it doesn't it just doesn't yeah, so trash. uh yeah i just want to bring that to y'all attention because i thought that was crazy nice like case. thank it's you like and stuff thank you it's so crazy. <laughs> so let's talk about something else that's crazy okay so there was this irish guy named mark nine he was pulled over back in february mm-hmm. um in surrey i don't know exactly what i said i think that's new york uh, by officers who spot him trying to dump a package of illegal narcotics and two cell phones while he was there he allegedly told cops his name was connor officers discovered hundreds of business cards for mcgregor enterprise mm-hmm. inside his car to make matters worse hundreds of text messages detailing nice drug dealing activities were right. recovered on his phone large amounts of boric acid a chemical often used to cut narcotics were also found inside his home. He pled guilty to possession with the intent to supply Class A drugs and was sentenced on April 9th in court. Uh, it, like I said, it was New York. So he said he's, he was trying to say that he is Conor McGregor, the fighter, if you guys don't know. Uh, he was a lookalike, and they basically gave him almost three years behind bars. I'm going to show you guys the picture. He looked like he could be his older brother, maybe. <laughs> maybe. But I'm just like, yo. That's pretty close. That's pretty close. But my man, okay, like, my man saw like, an opportunity. That's like, like stunt like, double, put the camera behind my head type. Yeah, he has the ears. He, he get if he would have lost some weight, he probably would look almost dead. If shaved his he hair, like he about to pull like an Italian yeah. bank job. He's probably. still look hella dusty, but yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He yeah pull yeah. off the back of the head, stunt double. But I'm just like my man was like, yo, I look like a people say I look like a all the time. Let me finesse this. I say it all the time. All Irish people look like. Let's not. <laughs> they do that to us. Let us not. No. Just play. No, but I'm just saying you are. <laughs> 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 but you know, I said all the time, like, yo, some of these criminals are stupid. My man went all the way. He said, I got business cards. I got an email address. I got a phone. Like my man went all the way through with his scheme. So I'm not mad at him. Mm-hmm. He had a vision and he made it plain. He was like, look, I'm gonna milk this for all I got. But he got caught. So that, that's not the part of the plan. I don't think that was a part of the plan. But I just thought it was funny. Like, do you think you can go all the way of trying to impersonate somebody else? If I look like somebody else? Mm-hmm. Depending on how much money they got. <laughs> Man, you can get a legal job in Vegas if you're a person. How you know how Michael Jackson the person that is? Right, exactly. All right, five dollars for photo. Right. Like, bro. <laughs> and you used to be over there pretending to be Conor McGregor. You look at somebody and whoop your ass like you were Conor McGregor. Gates, huh? Mm-hmm. They hear about Bill Gates. Oh yeah, the divorce. Yeah, I was. That's one. Of, I was about to be one of my topics. Thank you guys. That was great. I, I didn't, didn't do it. <laughs> hey, y'all don't be sharing the topics with us, so y'all want to get my full. You know, it's okay. Saying? It's okay. We can talk 
about it. We can talk about it while he, he segue to it. No, nah, you don't do your thing. You, I don't want to take it. No, 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 no. I'm liking it. over here. I ain't taking the thunder. <laughs> no, 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 no. But as he said, they did file for divorce. Did you hear that he gave her almost two million dollars in stocks? Billion. I'm sorry. Would it be? Would it be? Would it be? Billion, 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 billion. The same day she fought for the divorce. Okay. This is the same day he gave her yeah, you know, we'll two billion same. dollars. Yeah, you'll be like, yeah, we'll to be married twenty seven years. Like, what do you mm-hmm. think? Yeah, you still love when you marry somebody for twenty seven years. Like, you don't, you don't like. I hate that bitch. You be like, I want you to, you know, I want you to live your best life. Here you go. You know, part I mean, he got the money to do it though. Yeah, yeah they said that it, it, mm-hmm. it, it, it's a sign. I will say though. I hate the fact, like, I'll go back to Mackenzie Bezos. Like, I hate the fact that, like, whenever she's mentioned, she's like, oh, she's like the richest woman. And she got all her money from being in a divorce. It's like, come on, guys. Really? Do we have to say that? Like, yeah, yeah they, women are better than that. Like, you know, all, I, yeah. the best wealth a woman can receive is from a divorce. You know, like, you know, like, she didn't do split, uh, they had some blood, sweat, and tears the, in the company. The, sort, like, the sorting of assets. Like, really? I mean, she made them dinner. <laughs> We're not doing this. We're not doing I wonder this. why they got divorced after 27 years. Like, bro, you already raised all your kids. Like, you told me about the gates. Now we talk about back to the gates. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, I want to know too. It says that um, they were trying to do it, obviously outside of the scenes, but they they financially put all this stuff out there to obviously it's in the billions. Like, how much and you recent have to hate somebody to be like, you know what? Men got 27 years. I don't even want to just like live in somewhere else and just be legally married. Nah. Cut this shit out. So to be more specific, it says Bill Gates Investment Firm, Cascade Investment LLC, sent Melinda over 14 million shares of Canadian National Railway Company stock and more than 2.9 million shares of Auto Nation Incorporated stock. Canadian Nation Railway is worth 1.53 billion, and Auto Nation is worth 310 million. Mind now, he still bought that times how many shares he gave her. Like that's ridiculous. That's me. That's what ridiculous. That's ridiculous, but that's when you know it ended amicably. Like, yeah, you I know what? So. I think it was like, yeah, I know this time. Word. It's like, it is yeah, what it is. I don't see kids. him marrying nobody else again, though. I don't know. What you think? Would you, after 27 years? Well, Bill Gates? Hell no, he ain't getting married again. No, absolutely not. Uh, no, he's still in no. love with his old, his old lady, yo. You know what? Right now, Bill Gates could be like the super sugar daddy. Oh, you see everybody <laughs> signing <laughs> <about to> <laughs> The, with the twins, the yeah, McClure machines, trying to get the DMs, yeah. Like, like bro, uh, he could have like tw- uh, side chicks each day of the week. Like, who's to say he wasn't having side chicks was. regardless ahead of time? He said what? Who's, who's to say, say he didn't have side chicks? You know, oh, this whole I time, wouldn't be surprised. Look, nothing, nothing surprised me anymore after Ooh. finding out about Jada's nah, entanglement. Like, I feel like when you when you start sliding the bi- the billions, it's like, bro, like, no, nah, one box ain't enough, yo. <laughs> <laughs> one box ain't enough. Sure. I'm, I'm in the billions now. Yeah, you know that's crazy. I'm, Niggas I'm, I'm need a couple call. of dollars to be like one box in. Let <laughs> alone fucking billions. She probably found love somewhere else. Like, you know know. What? We don't know. That's what I'm saying. The Gardner, and, he's been doing great. So I don't know. I'm going to say if the Bezos, going back to the Bezos, if they can hide their kids, we never heard anything about their kids sure. all this time. I'm pretty sure they could have gone up. They can go through this without it being too the crazy. Only thing about the, uh, the Gates and like their kids, like, he was like, I ain't leaving y'all knowing here. Yeah, I was like, oh, you're a whole savage. Blame, right? Cause y'all ain't help me build this shit. <laughs> that is wild though. You would think that. See us. We're on the wave of like I'm trying to build something for my my kids. Mm-hmm. Where he's like, fuck you, fuck them kids. That's what I heard. That's how it came off to me. But also to keep it a bean though, if I'm Bill Gates' kid, nine times ten, I'm gonna have my own company or I'm gonna have some stock somewhere. Like I'm gonna be part of it some way somehow where I won't be broke. How old are his kids? I have no idea. They're probably in their like twenties. Yeah. I, have no idea. I, want, I want Willis to do his little secret uh, search things while we still talk. <laughs> <laughs> What's that topic, uh, B? I was actually going to pass it over to him, but um, so let's talk about something else. Let's talk about revenge porn. I think we talked about this before when you guys have been on the show. When you've been on the show about revenge porn, what do you think revenge porn is? What would you think your definition would be? Uh, you kind of caught me. Uh, you you asked down. for it. You asked me for it. I did not ask you. Yes, for you that. did. You said, "Well, be what's your next topic." You you pulled it out of me. Yeah, now. well, like, I mean, you always be just throwing it. Yeah, on this topic. Like, right. 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 You blowing me. <laughs> Revenge porn. Um, I feel like it's always kind of catered towards the guys. It's like, oh, if a girl sent you like you know naked pictures of herself or something, or doing some some wild shit, mm-hmm. you know, blowing you off behind a garbage dump or something. <laughs> what? 
then you post that on the on the on the internet mm -hmm. for the free ski. Mm -hmm. That would be a revenge porn. But it's only fans. That's the contract, so that's not revenge. Porn. That's fine. <laughs> okay, yeah. well, Just cut check so, at that point. so basically, you're absolutely right. So let's say you send something to the partner that you're with, and y'all break up, and that person's mad, so they end up putting it online. So this is exactly what happened to this 43 year old lady. She Ooh. was convicted of revenge porn after sharing sexually. Time out. She's 43. Caucasian. Yes. I need to see a picture. I will when I'm finished my story. Okay. All right. A uh, 43 year old Illinois woman has been convicted of revenge porn after sharing sexually explicit photos proving her fiance, whom she had been dating for seven years prior, cheated on her. Of course, there's a, a, a incident, you know, that happens for them to release all that. Uh, so she received text messages and rage and images from another woman on her iPad, which synced up with. The, her man's Apple iCloud account. It all separate. She was hurt and upset, and she called off the wedding soon after her man. Yes, well, she teaches how to cheat, Willis. Like, what? <laughs> what? Like, nah, I don't know. Cool. What are you talking about? And he was like, "Keep it all separate." No. <laughs> no, no, no. I These are jokes. Now nah, I message on my iPad. No, <laughs> like, keep it all separate. <laughs> Rookie. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, like the meme from uh, Simpsons. Pathetic. <laughs> So um, she said, that reportedly after she called the wedding, um, she was called crazy or whatever, and she sent a whole four-page letter to the family and friends explaining the situation mm -hmm. and included screenshots of the text and photos. Four pages? Yeah, let me finish. In her testimony, she said, I decided to tell people the truth. I wanted them to know that I wasn't crazy. So because of her actions, she was charged with revenge porn on Monday, April 26th, so last week, um, inside of the court, and she was found guilty of non-consensual dissemination of private sexual images mm -hmm. now she's facing anywhere from probation up to three years in prison for her crime she's due back in court in the month this is how you know i'm drunk so when you said four pages i was like i wonder if it's double spaced you know <laughs> <laughs> <You're drunk. laughs> that's drunk. the only thing i heard yo four pages i was like i wonder if that's a double space yo <laughs> that's a deposition like <laughs> yeah that is like damn deposition so mm -hmm. yeah how do we feel about this it's like yo i know you people get back at people but like you literally wrote four page letter, sent it to family and friends with screenshots. Now that's the part that got me. That's the petty. That's petty. Yeah, yeah. With screenshots of the, the you know, the whole cheating. And yeah. So now Yeah, picture ever? Yes, I'm sure you have picture. picture. So that's <laughs> Oh, so back to Bill Gates, his oldest is twenty five, but you yeah. can barely find any the guy or no, it's just a woman. You can barely find any yeah. information about Bill Gates kids. Like but that's how Jeff Bezos was. Mm -hmm. We had we. we All it says is he out. got three, and the oldest is twenty five. That's it. Are we taking a shot for that? Because that just no. tipped over. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, dang, how do we feel about like this? Crack, just double check. One way I felt about it was like, usually it's the other way around. It's like the man always exposing the woman, so this is different. And then two, that's why your mama always tell you, no face, no case. Literally. Okay. I mean, yeah. Unless you got identified. This is a second gym from Mr. Willis on how to cheat. I'm dropping how to cheat one on one <laughs> gyms, <laughs> which I don't do. <laughs> black men don't cheat. <laughs> okay. Now back in my twenties, I can give you some tips. I think it's still twenty. <laughs> I just turned something I'm scared. I might say, bro, that was twenty. Like, years I'm twenty nine and You're a lying. half. <laughs> He's lying. He's he just turned twenty. <laughs> 20 years ago, like, ridiculous. Wow. She's trying to fuck with me, it's alright. Yeah, it's okay, right. She it's said facts. she was 40, bro, I did the math. <laughs> I'm not 40. <laughs> <laughs> My man said I did the math. I went ahead and the calculating shit. <laughs> oh, shit. He's like, you was 20 like 20 years ago. That's 20 plus 20, that's 40, bro. <laughs> that's what she always said. Anyway, <laughs> how you feel about it? I feel like, I think, the letter I can understand because people probably pay, you know, send their money in for whatever who or family. You know, when you do family, um, when you do weddings, family members normally, you know, help out with a with a caterer or help out send out money for the wedding, whatever, whatever. Right. So I feel like she she said all this to explain to people who put money into the wedding with her. Um, but the pictures I feel like is wasn't needed, and I definitely don't feel like four pages was needed. But that the pictures would have got if she would just sent the letter, she would have been fine. It would it wouldn't have been this it wouldn't have been out like this. I wonder how she worded like attached. You will find pictures and videos of your ancient. Well, it says that she she mailed them out. So somebody like home. Because you got to think about it. Affair, you got to get the mail. You got to get the address to send out the wedding invites. Oh, so she said. I'm thinking she emailed that shit. No, you think people would? No, no. Oh, this is she went on her way and bought stamps. Thank you, bro. What? <laughs> what? 
did she get stamps from? What did I say, y'all? If y'all weren't listening, I said she's to set the record straight. She mailed mailed a four page letter to family and friends explaining the situation and included screenshots of the text and photos. She said in her testimony, I decided to tell people the truth. I didn't want them to think I was crazy. Right. She didn't work for the FBI. I don't feel pages, <laughs> the love stamps to multiple people. So she, now, I'm thinking she just wrote it once and made copies. Now, of course. Okay. Yeah, okay. At least she did so that. So she had to find a copy. So she went to Staples. But was it color copies though? No the pictures. Probably. Probably. <laughs> Look at her yesterday. picture. She's like Karen. She's hella pressed. Yeah, they were color pictures. She had all her eyes and teeth. That like, who does she like, And like? the thing for the cue. First of all. <laughs> hey yo! She went to Staples and had a ball. She got the stamps, she got the envelopes, she got the papers, no, she my folded thing is, it. Three no, hole punch. Mm-hmm. No, here's my thing. Where who was the guy who helped her? With these, you know, they probably, you know, help build the machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I need 50 copies of these pictures. I, can you imagine the guy oh, looking you like. You said helped her. I thought you said humped her. I was like, <laughs> huh? no, helped her. Help. The staples. Oh, like, the, you did not say helped. You said humped her. I was like, no, what? No, I didn't. Anyway, okay. so I just want to know who the employee was that helped her. Yeah. Because it's like, can you imagine me? I need 50 copies of this. And it's mm-hmm. like, his dick on another woman or something. He's like, uh, okay. Yo, what I'm the. Like, <laughs> What Have a good day, ma'am. What's the person's petty work? Do you want this in color? What, what type of paper? You got that good paper? You want a math finish or do you math, want a shiny? Right. Math for after you might discount. We didn't call our Scranton office. <laughs> 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 horrible. <laughs> that would be so horrible. So. Honestly. Now, how many of them family members do you think actually read all four of them pages? Well, I think oh, it depends on it depends. I'm not reading all of that no, shit. No, it depends on I'm just the mail. And so I get to the pictures and I'm like, that's, Yo, that's the juiciest mail that you've ever received in your life, bro. Right. That's the, it depends on how she started off. Like, hey, family and friends, I just want to let you know why this didn't work. This motherfucker here. I'm sure there was some customers. Oh, if you want to be petty and get all the tea. You're like, oh. What? Come on, bro. Yeah. That's, that's right in between, like, the, the penny saver and, like, some other shit. And it was just like, Oh, your, your car warranty. And it was just like, oh, look at this letter. Oh, right. You know these niggas. Okay. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. right. Shit. right. Yep. I saw so, like a paycheck in the mail. Like, oh, that. <laughs> oh, where it's from? Zero matter. <laughs> you know what Is I Is that hate? a comma? You know what I hate though? Sidebar. When you know how you get excited, you think you get in a check in the mail, like randomly, and it'd be one of those damn car things that's trying to give you, like, you have up to $25,000 for a oh, loan. And I'm like, car, bro, yeah. get this shit. You yeah. you played my life. I thought I was looking like maybe it's just maybe they get, cre- they get creative with the packaging too. Yo, I, <laughs> like kind of handwritten a little bit. Like, oh, I'm reading because you handwritten. Not All even right. that they have like the perforated little side, so I really think it's a check. So I'm like, mm-hmm. let's see what. You- I'm like, flip on back indoors here. All right, all right, all right. You played me. All right. And then they be and it's so specific the numbers they give out. Like you could have like ten thousand dollars in credit card debt. Yeah, you want this check for ten thousand dollars? You can have eleven. It'll, it's very specific. Like eleven thousand two hundred eighty-one dollars and eighty-three cents. I'm like, oh, that's for me. Uh, <laughs> somebody had credit card karma. <laughs> Y'all saw some shit. Y'all saw some shit. All right. But yeah, that's all I got. That's that's it for me right now. So let's get to your. All right. So I got one quick story. Then we can take a break. So um, this was kind of update. Maybe, maybe not. So um, we talked about the weekend. He got snubbed at the Grammys. Oh, okay. Like he literally had the biggest album. Like, as far as sales wise. Yo, Willis loves music, yo. I do love music. <laughs> so, anyway, um, due to the backlash, uh, the Grammys are changing the way they, uh, the voting system. Who cares? Really? So, alright, according to CNN, the organization um, Grammy Awards on Friday announced that to end the so called secret committees. So, it used to be secret committees. Wait, so, so, Grammys is the white people and then Emmys is black people? No. Mm-hmm. Grammys is music, Emmys is acting like TV. What, what, what do we do? What do we, what do we, we got do? the BET Awards. Yeah, what do they give them now? Oscar? No, they got the NS, N, N, NAACP Awards, you got the the Gold Awards. That's yeah. Movie. I know we sound out though. Somebody's gonna be like, yo, it's called this. It's called something. When you go on BET, they give you something. It's not an Oscar. It's, it's just BET Award. That's all it is. Yeah. So literally, um, instead of having secret committees um, for each category, they're just gonna open it up to all members, all 11,000 members, and they're gonna vote on each category. The guild. You got Essence Awards too. Essence Awards, mm-hmm. yeah. It's a lot of awards, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but Essence is more towards like black people. 
Yeah. Urban. Yeah. Urban. Yeah. yeah. I, I knew what you was talking about. I was like, I know something else besides They call it something, yeah. Yeah. Y'all yeah, need to bring back the Source Awards. That was a, that was a movement. <laughs> the Source Awards. I wanted to go for like. niggas. Yeah. <laughs> or the Vibe Award. <laughs> that was nigga shit, yeah. But I think even with that, they don't even keep it at high quality. Like, oh, you got a Source Award or award, or then you got an Emmy or Grammy. No one right. The Grammy getting getting the shine like Grammy Oscars like, uh, I convinced totally, all of these people yeah. that I deserve this award totally and I am award. not the EGOT yeah EGOT Emmy, Grammy, Oscar Tony Tony's. what the hell is a Tony? Tony Awards what is that? I'm gonna have to google that one but I know there's a Tony <laughs> exactly <award. laughs> so don't try to play it bro you said Emmy, Grammy, Oscar and Tony it. yeah Tony there's only a few people that have all four like John Legend has all four like what, now I gotta look up what, what the Tony Goldberg is Goldberg got all four yeah only a few people have I think um, um, Viola Davis has all four too yeah what's the Tony award that sounds like some radio shit yeah. I think it has something to do with acting but like more so TV drama or TV oh. acting instead of like movies oh. I might be wrong but anyway you should look it up because my phone will just stop working. <laughs> well, how do y'all feel about them changing the rules and the backlash? I mean, everybody in the weekend having the power to make them change. I think that it, it's it's fine. I'm glad that they're trying to do something. I think people. I think they're just tired of people saying that you know the Oscars are white or the the Emmys are white or this is that. It's, Oscars it's, are white. Yeah. Yeah. You know they. they mm. I guess they just got tired of it, so they're like, you know what, fuck it. Right, we're gonna, we gonna let everybody vote. Mm-hmm. So we can't we can't bash it if this is what we get. the the crowd has asked for. Right. They're like, okay, instead of it just being a secret committee of I don't even know how many are in the secret committee. It could have been fifty people. Instead of just the uh, line was fifty. It people. was fifteen to thirty secret committees. Fifteen to thirty secret committees, yeah. To vote on stuff. That's too much. And then they just opened it up to all eleven thousand members. Yeah. Well, someone gotta take, take a, a shot. shot. And as you pour that shot off camera, because we don't promote liquor yet, but um, the Tony's for Broadway. That's Broadway, Broadway. performances. Yeah. Got it. Got it. That's why I was like, it's not a lot of people that got the Tony. Yeah. I know Whoopi Goldberg got it because of she did, you know, Color Purple and other stuff online. Keeps making noise. I don't know why. <laughs> did you get a four page letter? <laughs> <laughs> no, Whitney bought something online and it sent me the notification. Oh. <laughs> You got a dick pick or something. I'm tired of it making noise. That's all. <laughs> Go ahead and take the shot though. Um, as Dula Porsche is shot, um, that's all the topics we got? Yep. Okay. And then we'll come back. So we'll come back with Dula taking a shot. Alright, we'll see you guys in a little while. See ya. And we're back, you guys. Hey. So, mm-hmm. time for the positive thing of the week. Okay. Week. Week. So, our favorite couple. Uh, Sierra and Russell Westbrook. Okay. Um, recently, they donated thirty-five thousand dollars to help Seattle students open saving accounts. Okay. So. Oh, can they open up my savings account? Sure. Yeah. Wait, say it one more time. Thirty-five thousand dollars <laughs> to help middle schoolers open up a savings account. They didn't give them thirty-five thousand. Oh, okay, okay. No, okay. they didn't give them thirty-five thousand apiece. Okay. No All more right. drinks for this man. <laughs> <laughs> he but hey, shot. this is what it's supposed to be: drunk with friends, huh? <laughs> So, um, I'm way into what to do right now. <laughs> this was a push for them to um, teach kids about financial literacy at a young age. So, they helped them um, set up savings accounts and talk to them about money and stuff like that. So, that's what it was about. And that's good for them. I yeah, know. it's positive. I just feel like for them, I feel like they're just too perfect. Like, I need to know the, I need the juice. I need the tea. So I know. Because I'm not saying that he's no future. No, he ain't even bad as future. But I'm like... Russell can be perfect all the time. Like I don't, I don't believe in no perfect couple at all. I mean, honestly, if you think about it, Russell, Jack Kelly, he left his white wife, married Sierra, and they're just having kids. I know, but I just, I don't, I feel like that. You know how they do on like movies or whatever. It's always that one perfect couple that don't let anybody else see that their arguments or whatever. They have mm-hmm, the perfect on camera mm-hmm. all the time. But and I just feel like it's like something. It's, like, it's like I can see through you. I know there's some shit going on. Granted, you know, you're supposed to keep your stuff, you know, mm-hmm. and your marriage to yourself. Why can't I get they be it. the Hustables and they be perfect? I don't. There's That's no true. perfect couple. I don't care what nobody says. Every, every I believe couple, in perfect couples. No. Nope. Every couple think? has arguments. I don't care what nobody says. We don't have arguments. I was like, you may not be arguing with them, but they could be arguing with you. Facts. It's all about your perception of things, right? Yep. So, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's, it's nice theory. It's nice thought, but I think that there's, yeah. I don't think it's perfect. Do we consider them a black power couple? Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. But yeah, that don't mean that they're perfect. Cause uh, so we put them up there with, you know, Jay Z, Beyonce, mm-hmm. John Legend, Chrissy, who else? 
um, Will and Jada. Mm hmm. Most definitely. Yeah. Okay. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. I mean, how much is he worth? He's he's worth a pretty good bag. Oh, Seattle, I think when the championship, they dropped a bag on him. How much? Yeah. Okay. And that's not even. He's like, yo. <laughs> Hawks. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. And then you got Sierra, and you know Sierra's probably making money too. So yeah, yeah. and she on her own royalties and yeah. stuff and all that too. That's yeah. when she got you know little commercials here and there with that the kids, right, yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what she did in the bathroom. Put some chapstick on. Come on, came out with sweet lips and shit. Oh, sweet lips. Okay. <laughs> oh, I. Oh, oh I. Sweet really? with a. A <laughs> <Hey>, bro, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but anyway, right. Yeah, they, I think they're a power couple. They're they're a staple. And like I said, a lot of people want to be like them. They're a lot goals. of people, they're yeah, goals. a lot of people yeah, yeah. hashtag goals. But I just feel like a lot of people do it hashtag goals, and then they find out something happened to them, and they're like, well, they're not, they're regular people. Stop putting these yeah. couples on pedestals. I can't believe who's Jada. taller. You already know who's taller. Who? Sierra. Oh, I, 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 mean, I think I they're the same height. Even with the pictures I see them, I think Sierra's taller. Sierra? Yeah. Like, who's Tierra? <laughs> I said Sierra. It sounds like you said Tierra. But anyway, yeah. So, but anyway, congratulations to them. That's really nice of them to know right. that. Because, I mean, how many times is he away a year? Like, for games and, and training and shit? He's only away for eight games. Like, you sizing him. No, I'm asking. I don't know. That's why he's I asked only, the question. He's only away for eight games. Oh, it's not bad. Well, she's not even that tall. She's 5'7". Yeah, so she's Sierra's definitely... Sierra's 5'7"? She's definitely yeah. shorter than him. He's like 5'10 at least. He's 5'11". I'm not he, you know how the NFL be. He's 5'10". 5'10". Right. So he's taller, yeah. yeah I thought Sarah was taller. But Maybe you know what? Maybe she was Peyton. No, I think she's Zayn Bow Wow. Yeah. Bye -bye. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, even in the back in the day, her video, she just looked super tall. Maybe because she was thin. thin. So was it ever so, proven that she was a hermaphrodite or no? No, 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 no. Was, that was, that was Why? Where would that come from? Black the same thing that the same though the same thing that came up with Megan Stein. It was like, oh, is she really a woman? Is she a man? Da, da, da. Oh, Meg, you know, stallions are male. I'll fight Meg, Megan Stallion. Y'all don't come for her. <laughs> but you know, it's the same thing. Every that's time it. somebody tall or or something yeah. that's not normal to what they think it is, is always trying to say they're a man or some shit. Insecure so, niggas. Yeah, that's yeah thing. pretty much. But anyway, all right, let's go on. Let's move on. All right, let's go to our crazy shit of the week. So let's talk about this, and let me finish before you. Talk. No, I'm not going to So, man uses hair curlers to smuggle 35 singing birds into the United States. What? How does he does this? I don't, I don't know. So he was arrested at the airport because mm -hmm. he decided. And when I say rollers, I'm thinking about I'm talking about the rollers like your grandma used to put, like roll them up and then put the little the clip little on. styrofoam joints. Oh, no, the not plastic the, ones. The plastic ones. I got you. We're talking got about you. those type of rollers. Mm -hmm. They said the photos of the man show the birds pushed into hair curlers and placed in sew-on pockets. On his name is Mackenzie. Mackenzie's jacket. Some of the birds were also being carried on top of the man's shoes. He was immediately charged with unlawfully importing flinches. Finches, sorry. Mackenzie mm -hmm. was later released on a two hundred fifty thousand dollar bond, according to the United States office, attorney's office. So yeah, he was trying to bring them over for a singing competition in the Brooklyn Queens neighborhoods of New York. So uh, my man, literally, you can see. I'll show the picture around. It's like all these little circle rollers and this jacket and this birds in each of this. Yeah, like mind blow, right? Yeah, it's like the big purple ones, it's like the it's small green the ones. green ones. Yeah. yeah. Like my man got him. I thought he was doing it because of the chicken shortage. Goodbye. <laughs> <sighs> Not because of the chicken shortage. Good day. Bro, how did he keep them alive? Bro, my thing is, how did he go through TSA? And don't notice a whole bunch of fucking birds strapped to the shit. But he stuffed them. He stuffed them in there. Like, that's some baby like, birds. Like little taquitos. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, bro, the I want to. I want to know. Not one tweet. <laughs> how much was he? <laughs> I want to know. I want to know how much was he? Was he going to smell them after? Sell them afterwards? Thirty-five singing birds. Oh no! Finch, yeah. Finch. He's going to let them think, How do you though? keep quiet singing birds? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then you got to feed them in water. Oh, like right. do you? But you then, know what? They need to charge for animal cruelty. Yeah. Animal car uh, well, charges. I, 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 I'm around. Quite a bit of birds and stuff like we this, ship birds. And this just happened on Monday. My like animal. birds, like when you ship them, like especially like little chicklets and stuff, they stink because they be shitting on themselves. Mm -hmm. Like nobody smelled it, nobody heard it. How did he walk through TSA with all the shit on? That's them? what I'm saying. I'm like, did he plug the butt? What? what? Oh no, nah, I just. I don't know. 
They're plugged in. I don't know. You soundproof a lunchbox? Like, what'd you do? How'd you get on with birds, singing birds at that, and none of them make noise? The fuck? Did he get on the plane? Yeah. Dang. Yeah, yeah, he was on a plane. He flew into John F. Kennedy International Airport on Monday. got his from peanuts where? and everything. From where? Oh, I didn't say from where. Ah, oh, damn. That ain't fired. <laughs> <laughs> He said Customs and Border Protection found him during an examination. I would too. I want to know, did he put him through like the conveyor belt with an x-ray? Or it was he... on his body. It was on his purse. Oh yeah, oh, because you got to take off everything to go through. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> right. <laughs> that was on tweets. Those nipples. Don't worry about it. Don't I'm worry done. about it. Yo, what if you Uber TSA and you, like, you hear like birds like, doo, doo, doo. you're like, oh, what the fuck? You're like, I'll be stuck. I be like, yo, bro, I know you don't have birds. Like he brought a man from the fifth floor. I got these birds. I got these birds. <laughs> J- just next to the guy who got the dag on airbags. I got these airbags. Facts, I got airbags. Yo. I got singing birds. Man, I got meats. Mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. It, it's wild. But yeah, I just thought that was crazy. I was like, I don't know how this man did this, but okay. But if you do have a meat man, let him holler at me. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I'm done. smoking all summer, baby. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's get on to our question of the week. Question of the week. So. Since Dula and V kept saying I was dropping cheating gems, he feels like old. Cheating gems, like what? <laughs> cheating one one. <laughs> no one told you to be an author out here. You know what will stop uh, cheating? Uh, polyamory. Now, mm-hmm. Willow Smith. I think blowjobs every morning will stop cheating too. Yeah, sure. Because yeah, yeah. Anyway, Willow, who's um, the daughter of uh, Jaden, Jada, and um, Will Smith. Um, she was on Red Table Talk, and they were talking about marriage and traditional relationships, and um, this is what she had to say, all right? So, hopefully they can hear the audio. With polyamory, I feel like the main foundation is the freedom to be able to create a relationship style that works for you, and not just stepping into monogamy because that's what everyone around you says is the right thing to do. Right. So I was like, how can I structure the way that I approach relationships with that in mind. Yeah, yeah. Also, doing research into polyamory, the main reasons why monogamous relationships, or mo- why marriage, why divorces happen, is infidelity. Yeah, yeah. For somebody like me, it feels like it's really all just centered around I mean, I'll give sex. you an example. <laughs> Let's say you haven't always been the kind of person that wanted to have sex all the time, mm-hmm. but your partner is. Right. Are you gonna be the person to say, you know, just because I don't have these needs, you can't have them either? Right, yeah, right And right. so that's mm-hmm. kind of one of the reasons why I actually was interested in poly because I was introduced to it through kind of a non-sexual lens. Wait, right. you okay. okay. In my okay. friend's decision. With Come on, all it's like 30 more seconds. I mean, I'll give sex. you an example. Let's say you haven't always been the kind of person that wanted to have she sex, all time, but your partner is. Right. Are you going to be the person to say, you know, just because I don't We just heard that part. So anyway, she doesn't believe in traditional marriage, traditional relationships. I wonder why August, um, oh, <laughs> September, October, November, December. <laughs> but um, now I, I'll throw myself under the bus, and I had plenty of conversations with V. That's why she's looking like that. And I think I even mentioned it on this podcast about how I feel about traditional marriage, and even just the origins of where marriage just came from. Mm. So, um, can it get updated? Like. Is marriage or the traditional meaning of marriage antiquated? What's your thing? I think we need to focus on the poly, poly part first. Okay. I, I think that it's your belief, right? It's whatever you feel like is can work for you. Everybody loves differently, right? Everybody has right. different things differently. So if she feels that because of what she was introduced in a non-sexual way is what works for her, mm-hmm. then that works for her. I feel like that I don't want to look down on her view of what she wants versus and I don't want her to look down because I want a traditional marriage as long mm-hmm. as you can respect your, your partner's you know decision of they want to be in the polio or whatever poly mm-hmm. or they want to be regular traditional marriage just respect somebody's their mm-hmm. ways their way mm-hmm. I don't feel like that marriage is antiquated or I don't I feel like everybody has a choice traditional marriage would be hey let's go down the aisle in the church and let's have the you know my my family and friends and da but then what's wrong with just going to justice and peace sure that's not literally the traditional marriage way you're still married yeah but it's not there or what about the, the whole vegas vegas quick shotgun type of thing that's yeah. not the traditional way 
you're getting married by some Elvis or whatever impersonator. That's <laughs> it's like so it's like there is no there is no no right way to get married or there's no right way that you want a relationship as long as you're happy with what you got. Well go ahead and say we're gonna say well this is on you ready to spill some stuff. <laughs> no, I was just thinking to myself that yo, I would get married in front of uh fake Conor McGregor. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga should have done that shit. I'm sorry. I didn't catch you on that side. Say, go ahead. Go ahead. No, what you, you how you feel, dude? I ain't fucking touching that subject. Huh? <laughs> I ain't fucking I ain't touching that subject. I'm the only motherfucker who want to get married. I ain't touching that subject. Big facts. Big facts. Who, who wouldn't want the cake to eat it too? Why not? True. But it don't work like that. Not True. here. But yeah. I think that it could get messy, right? You have to find somebody who really understands, which is any marriage, I think. You need to find somebody who really understands the rules to this poly thing. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. can't get jealous because I'm with John today and I'm with, because if I'm not mistaken, I think she's bisexual too, right? Who yes. Was? Yeah. Uh -oh. Yeah. So if she wants to be with John yeah, today. Girl being bisexual. It's not really even bisexual. I don't think she said bisexual. She's, uh, she's the one that uh, is whatever asexual. vibe. Asexual. Yeah, yeah, asexual. Whatever yeah, vibe asexual. she wants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. that's. Bisexual just, don't matter to you like an actual guy's like, oh, that ain't bisexual. Oh, all right. He's a dick too. All right, cool. A mess. That's yeah. bisexual. Girl, like, oh, she eats some box every now and then. Oh, that's some regular shit. Is Whatever. that Professor Ogilvy? <laughs> <laughs> Not even. But uh, how I feel about this, I get it. I understand it. Mm. Now, are you going to be able to get that off now? Probably not. And I think it goes um, to what B's saying. You got to find somebody that understands it. Someone, it got to be great communication mm -hmm. between the both of them. Mm -hmm. And everyone who's involved in the situation has to know what it is. Yeah. And you got to separate the feelings from it. Now, with polyamory, would you consider it the same equal to open relationship? Because polyamory is like, we all share a house together. We're all together at all times. Right. So open is like, yeah, we have kids and we raise our family, but we also have other partners outside of us. Let's look up the definition then we that, I just told you what the definition was. Uh, oh, how'd you know that? <laughs> Bro, it's called a book. <laughs> <laughs> the one person that doesn't want to uh, <laughs> talk nah, about it. Because I'm not, cause I don't want to sound like I'm, um, like, oh, he's married, but yeah, he has this opinion about this. It's like, oh, this is my type of woman, but you didn't marry that type of woman. Like, you I got what you're saying. Yeah, like, it's no sense no. in me talking about it. Yeah, so the official definition, you're right, is the practice of or desire for intimate relationships with more than one person with the informed consent of all partners involved. Yeah. All right. You gotta have, that's why I'm saying you So polyamory is more along the lines of sister wives. Like me, I would love to have sister wives. I was like, one to stay home and watch the kids, one woman to work, and I work. And we all live together. That would be great. Mm -hmm. Okay. As a unit, because in this area, houses are expensive, and it's like, you know what? You know what would help? Yeah. Three fucking incomes. You know what I just thought about? Yo, that's gotta be like big dick energy to have like <laughs> <laughs> that's that type of energy and to or deal just, with that. Or just big personality energy. Yeah. yeah. And then what if you cheat on your 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 two people? Yeah, you just you're fucked up. You're yeah, fucked up. Yeah, you're fucked up. Yeah, you're definitely fucked up individual. Like yo, yeah. you got two bitches and you still never said Maybe maybe three. I mean, I got two. It, I mean, it always depends on who you marry. Cause like, I mean. Like I said, people don't talk about it, but in marriage, in marriages and stuff, some people they're normal mm -hmm. of how much sex they have. Might be once a week, might right. be once a month, might be, you know, once a season, might be special every other Thursday. Yeah, special See, like you sound, you like that's crazy, but I'm like, once a season. I've been there, <laughs> so it's just like, yeah, the shit ain't, it ain't fucking, it ain't sweet, bro. And yeah. it's like, what do you do? You just, you just stop. You just yeah. gotta accept it for what it is. True. So, and then I guess even if we're thinking of it as a. Uh, I know what I'm thinking of it as male, female, female. It could be female, male, male. Yeah. 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 That would be different. You don't different. really hear about it like that. I mean, I know that it's possible, but you don't really hear about it. Most times, the, the example that comes to mind is female, female, male. Yeah. Would you try something like that? No. In a relationship? And no. then you got to think about the sex drive of each person. Like, you know, the males, like your sex drive is at this peak at 18. And it slowly declines until you're like 30s. Bro, I'm telling right? you, with, with the internet now. Hear me out. Hear me oh, out. Go ahead. So, 18 to 30, you know, your sexual peak is from here and it goes down. For women, apparently, like 30 up. to 40, it goes it go back up. up. So, it's mm -hmm. like, you know, if you can just catch everybody at their peak, everybody would be happy, but it's just not how it works. I didn't know that. Yeah. You told me something, though. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Women, yeah, they had their sexual peak in like late 30s, 40s. I didn't know that. It's like right around the time when they can't have kids anymore. They're just like, fuck it, we're doing it by hand, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, I got the sex thing. So. Do all the things. <laughs> Do all the freaky shit, right? I think we should put this on Instagram. See what everyone else thinks about polyamory. Because okay. people, some people agree. Some so, what would be the question: of polyamory or open marriage? Would you try it? Or would you? I may say, what's the difference between open marriage? 
open is just like you can have as many relationships. No, no, no. Open would be like okay, you have a family, your your unit or whatever right. people in your house, mm. but you just have other sexual partners and you just keep it you know low key. I think it'd be safer sexually wise, so nobody get no whatever to just do poly because everybody's on the same page. No, so poly won't be. Uh, Socially accepted as much. I gotta be a big ass bed. I mean, but I mean, technically, I mean, but they don't have to stay in the same room together. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sure, sure. Well, I ask questions about like, are you getting Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? No, no, no. So, like, so you have your, your, your wife or whatever, and then you have like this random chick that lives with you, and she watches your kids too. Like, how does that work? Well, technically, I guess, so Polly, you're technically marrying both of them. It was a show. And then, show. Technically, you don't have yeah, to marry one. Utah or something you like don't that. have to mm-hmm. marry one, because in the state of Maryland, as long as you're living in the house together, they yeah. consider you guys, the, the, was it domestic? Oh, I can't say the word. That y'all basically are unit. Yeah, so, domestic relationship. Or yeah, domestic, domestic something. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha, yeah. So you don't even have to be married. Like technically, me and my boyfriend are a unit. When they come here, ask for stuff. Both of us, it could be you, whoever's here. Right. But you don't have to be married. So technically, if you have all three, it's it, the poly thing works. Outside of, I'm thinking with, with the open marriage, I feel like everybody doing their own thing. You can bring back some shit to somebody. True. Mm-hmm. I think that's why I feel like the lust, the low risk one, right. as far as for your health, oh, yeah. is poly. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Like the benefits are definitely with the open. It's like, yo, you actually have an extra person to help with you with your, t- your daily, monthly task. Like, yeah, yeah, that would be awesome. We're yeah. talking about the poly, not the open. Poly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just have an extra person in the house just to help you with things. It's maybe. like almost having a grandma, but she's hot. Right. Like, maybe that's why there's so many. Maybe the open relationships. Cause the condoms uh, thing to go up. <laughs> Probably not. Probably, may, I mean, it could be a factor, but I'm yeah. like, I don't know a lot of people who have open marriages. Nah, I, I don't mean, I don't think it's anyone. Some, I'm gonna say there's nobody that I know that verbalized they have open marriage. True. I know, I know people that are swingers, but not so much. Well, I guess that means they're open, yeah. But like people mm-hmm. that are open, swinging is a little different. Oh, swinging is open relationship. No, swinging. I think a lot of swingers is like couple, couple. It's not necessarily like. You date whoever you want over here. I date whoever I want over here. Yeah, but in the umbrella, it's still open. You have an open relationship. You're allowed to, to have sex with other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you swing together, that's different. Like, oh, we yeah. have a sex club together. We, you know, we do right. our thing. And, right, right. You know, we, you know, we soft swap or hard swap, whatever. There's a whole bunch of terms and everything like that. Okay. What? Nope. <laughs> I can go into that, but that's a whole different episode. Nope, we don't got time for that. I don't want to take an hour shot. So, let's get into TV show recommendations. Okay. Um, The Nevers on HBO. It's a new show. It's kind of like back in the day, um, Victorian era. Long story short, uh, the spaceship comes through there, sprinkles some shit. Certain people starting to get powers. Mm. And the anime? No, it's a regular know. show. It's oh. very good. Um, so far, only women have powers. So the aristocrat men don't like that shit. So now they're trying to make laws about people with powers and all this other stuff. And come to find out, I'm not gonna spoil it. Watch it. He's trying to find out. Oh, like, what's wrong? <laughs> I, like, I was like, well, what is it? <laughs> Catch it what, on HBO. The HBO numbers. Max? Yeah. Yeah, HBO Max. Mm-hmm. It's only five episodes. It's new. It's fairly new. Yeah. All right. What you got, V? Um, I have Cruel Summer. And you told me about that show. I started watching some of it today. It's actually really good. Did you like it? Yeah, I'm on, like, episode three. Okay. Um, like it? It, yeah, it's interesting. Because I was like, what the fuck is going on here? Uh, <laughs> um, my recommendation is on Hulu. It's called Cruel Summer. It's four episodes out now. Um, it's basically about a girl. Um, it, it goes back to, like, old 70s or 80s. Mm. Come to find out. It's like a small town. One nerd girl. Uh, she basically found out that one of the other girls was missing in the neighborhood but she didn't report that their principal their assistant principal was the perv that kidnapped the girl what she did was she basically took over this popular girl's life she became the popular girl took the boyfriend that the girl had the the friends that she had she was like the new um uh what's the was not the not the new cheetah girl but what's the mean girls like i remember oh that yeah like she was like the show. new popular top bitch at the school and what I like about it is that it keeps flashbacking to year 93, 94, 95 mm. and you can tell which year you're in by the way her hair looks. So 93 she was a nerd with braces, 94 she was like glamour girl because she was taking over the girl's life and 95 that's when they found the girl and they started like vandalizing her house and all this other shit so she's going through it so she looks like she on drugs. She cut all her hair off. She looks horrible and wow. yeah it looks, it's really good so it would kind of remind me of like crash because it's like all these events and you're trying to piece together well what did she do did she really find her was the system principal really doing stuff to her like da 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 and um so definitely check it out it's four episodes out now cruel summer on mm-hmm. hulu is it kind of like a wonder vision like you knew what was going on by the era 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Your turn. Cool. Your turn. Uh, my video or movie recommendation will be live sports. Um, it is called Formula One. It's a race. Oh. Lewis Hamilton is in it. You guys mentioned that last week. Yeah, I love. He's like, is his name Lewis Hamilton? I was yeah, like, yes, it's it like is. The only best black driver of all time ever. Thank you. Right. I was um, like, yo, is David Lewis Hamilton? No, I'm yeah, pretty just, sure. I mean, like, not a lot of people do it. I mean, I'm just saying something just to say something. But I watch racing. Formula One is mm-hmm. a lot of different uh, car manufacturers: Mercedes, Ferrari, mm-hmm. Aston Martin, uh, Alfa Romeo, Renault. Mm-hmm. You know, shit like that. So, yeah, they all like put their eggs together and race and see who's the best. Dope. And it's a really close ca- championship this year. So right. and you said it's on live sports. No, it's just it's live sports. sports. It's on ESPN. Oh, it comes it's on, on ESPN. Sunday mornings. Okay. Okay. Sunday yeah. mornings. Every you know, just gotta follow the schedule, or whatever. It should be in Monaco. So like in in if you in Monaco is kind of like almost like the um, Maldives, but it's up for uh, rich people. And a lot of the rich people conjugate there because there's no taxes. <laughs> and so above it's, my tax bracket. So it's basically like the Las Vegas of the world, and like they're going to go there. Oh, and I race. thought that was Dubai. <laughs> So it's like they're, they're, they're no 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 because like Dubai still has taxes but Maldi- uh but Monaco doesn't it's like uh-huh. French it's southern French Riviera Riv- 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 and all I that it. south of France okay um but like yeah. beaches and stuff it's their big race of the year the actual track is ass yeah. but it's just all the events that surround the race that make it a big deal I've read most people that watch like those type of races they're more so there for the crashes than just no, that's NASCAR you know, okay no nah, yeah, Formula One you're not there for the crashes. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, you, gotcha. You, you're more technical if you watch a Formula One. And I, my barber brought up to me, he's like, I can see why you watch Formula One. He's oh, like, he you, like <laughs> you like airplanes, you know, aerodynamics and everything like that, and things that go fast, and that's why you like Formula One. And I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Makes right. sense. But if you like crashes, watch NASCAR. Just watch the highlights. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so that's it for the episode. Good yes. episode, you guys. Yes. We got through it. Yes. Under yes. an hour, too. Yes. Yeah, that's and I finesse not taking that shot. Yay. <laughs> oh, you about to take two, my nigga. Nah. 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 He just take this one. He should be good. Nah, this whole time I've been thinking about this. I have I'm about to go walk to. Do good. Never mind. I, I should go. I should get I with me, yo. Mm. <laughs> All right. Mm. No. 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 All right, guys. Cheers. Shot. Cheers, you guys. Mm-hmm. We'll see you guys next week for our anniversary episode. We have a couple. Uh, mm. Oh, that tastes different. Ooh, special that? guests. That wasn't the same thing. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Um, we have a couple special guests coming on that the was show. Summer shit, wasn't it? No. <laughs> and um V, where can they listen to our podcast? Where can they see us? They can see us on YouTube. They can see us on our Instagram page, on our Facebook page. You can also listen to us, Amazon Music, Castbox, Podbean, Spotify, uh Alexa Tune in, uh, did I miss something? Castbox Google. Google Play. Pandora. Like I said Pandora. Okay. So yeah, you can you can hit the link in our bio. Google Alexa, on Echo on Instagram. Once you hit the link in our bio, you'll find out all the platforms that we're on and you can choose what's best for you. Yep. Make sure you guys tune into our live next week for our drunk anniversary, our second uh, one. And um congratulations to us because we officially have our LLC. Hey. 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 Congratulations to me. I got a, I got a, uh, yeah, I got a new uh, position that's higher than brother. Yeah. No. Oh it's called promotion. There we go. There that's the word. <laughs> it's more money. Mm. Nah. Hola. Mm. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you guys for tuning in. Y'all have a good day. Be productive. See y'all next week. Stay safe.